my goodness, I love playing games. I'm so excited to find out what game we're about to play. And to do that, I'm going to have a chat with Zookeeper, Nicole. Hello, Nicole. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing so good. I hear you have a game for me to play. I sure do. I have a pretty interesting challenge for you today. In front of us, we've got Pooh from three different animals here at Dreamworld. And I want you to try and guess what animals that Pooh comes from. Oh my goodness, I was wondering what was smelling so good and why there were so many flies around. Okay, what kind of animals are my options to choose from? All right, so we've got some of our classic Australian mammals, poos here today. So we've got kangaroos, wombats and bilbies. So I want you to try and guess which animal these poos come from. Okay, fantastic. Well, I... I am an expert on poo, I'm not going to lie, but I know there are some kids out there who know even more than me about poo, so I might have to ask for a little bit of your help along the way. Shall we start with poo box number one? Let's give it a go. All right. Yes, this one here. Let's have a look. All right. We're going to get uh, close and personal with the poo here. Now, I'm seeing... Um, a very kind of angular shape to this poo. Um, I'm seeing lots of uh, lots of fibres, maybe some grasses uh, going through there, um, and it's very, very kind of tight and clumpy. Absolutely. So this is the kind of poo where if you were to walk out into the Australian bush, it would be just about everywhere. There's a lot of these animals in Australia. They hang out in big groups together and they eat a lot of fibres like grasses, so you'll see a lot of that in their poo. Okie dokie. All right. Captain, up in the rocket ship, I'm going to ask you to ask our best poo experts to figure out what kind of poo this is. Is it wombat, bilby, or kangaroo poo? The votes are in. I'm so excited to find out. Tell us, Nicole, is it wombat, bilby, or kangaroo poo? This poo comes from the Australian Eastern Grey kangaroo. The ca it's kangaroo poo! Oh my goodness. All right, and that is why we would see it everywhere because kangaroos are pretty common. Right? Yeah, kangaroos are all over the east coast of Australia and all over Australia in general. So this is probably the most common poo you'll come across. Fantastic. It's time to move on to poo number two. Um, in terms of poo, what would you say your title is? Are you Grand Poo Master? Um, uh, poo Supreme? How, how, do you, how do you identify? Look, I'm a bit of an expert on animal poo. I spend a lot of time with it. Um, love hanging out with it, love having a look in it, see if my animals are healthy by the quality of their poo. So I'm pretty used to it, pretty often around it. Fascinating. It's time for poo number two. I'm going to lift the box here. Ah! Oh, okay. All right. So uh, this, ha this poo has kind of a ganache texture. I'm going to say looks a little bit um, shiny. Uh, in its in its own way, which I didn't expect of a poo. Um, also tight, clumpy, and I'm seeing um, I'm seeing some kind of grassy fibres in there as well. So, Captain, I'm throwing back over to you to see if you can collectively figure out where does this poo come from? Is it wombat or is it bilby? Okay, thank you so much for all of your votes. Zookeeper Nicole, Grand Poo Master Nicole, Poo Supreme Nicole. What poo is this poo? This is my absolute favourite poo to come from any animal in the zoo, and this is wombat poo, the only <sighs> cube-shaped poo in the world. Fantastic. And you're right, it is kind of cube-shaped. Um, tell me, why does it come out as cubed? So the reason they are wombats poo cubes is because they actually use their poo to mark their territories and they live on very mountainous climates. So if they lay little round poos all around, it's just going to roll down the hill. But if you lay little poof cubes, then it's going to stay in a nice little stack and mark your territory for you. Well, don't those wombats just have the smartest little bums in the world? All right, it's time to move on to our last poo. Shall we find out? All right. Look at this poo. Oh my goodness. Now, I am seeing it's kind of like a a cinnamon sugar dusted poo, um, tiny little pellets. I'm going to pick this up here. We'll see what we can do. Ah, yes, also full of fibres. So I would say this animal is a, um, a herbivore. Um, and you know what I've just realised? We know the answer to this question because if it's not a wombat and if it's not a kangaroo, it must be Bilby Poo. So this poo comes from our little Australian bilbies and that's why it's covered in sand because bilbies are one of the animals that live in the desert. So we're going to see a lot of sand on their poo. Of course. Now, um, I understand that you have a bit of a practical demonstration for us in terms of bilby poo. 
we do. We actually have the animal that made this poo with us right now. Would you like to meet it? I would love to meet it. Oh, my goodness. Okay. While Nicole goes and retrieves the bilby, um, I'm going to uh, do a quick smell test. So, Nicole, if you would please retrieve the bilby, I'm going to have a quick moment with this poo. Now, here we go. This is kangaroo poo. Uh, yes, minty, minty fresh with side notes of maybe spearmint. Um, bilby poo. Oh, I was right about the cinnamon sugar, absolutely. Um, and finally, wombat poo. Doesn't have a smell, really. All right, we have our fresh little bilby. Oh, hello! is one of our little bilbies here at Dreamworld. Her poo is probably the smelliest of the poos we've met today because <laughs> she actually is an omnivore. So the kangaroo and the wombat are herbivores. They eat lots of different plants. Um, but omnivores like Emma are going to eat plants and animals as well. So she eats a lot of bugs and little insects, which makes her poo a little bit smellier than the plant ones. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for showing us um, your bilby and all of these magnificent animal poos. Captain. Back to you for the next challenge.